Ah, Damir, a fellow yellow man, I see. A Kazakh, perhaps, or a Mongolian. Perhaps even a Tatar. Good to see another slanty man fellow amongst friends. Damir is indeed Kazakh. I predicted that, right? My uh, ethnography uh, database in my head is getting only better and better. Surely this will only help me in the future. They're just here to get you to eat you later. <laughs> let me into the Exodus Metro. Don't abandon me in the lands of the Pharaoh. Yeah, I'll go hardcore. That's what I'm feeling. Ranger Hardcore is the most realistic one. Well, I, I'm a freak of nature. I think he might be talking about the uh, psychic demon alien things. I forget what they were called. It turned out they were actually pretty cool. They just uh, explode people's heads as a formal greeting, if I recall. <laughs> it was basically the first skate plot. The Dark Ones. Hello, stranger. Oh, my head. Oh, dear. I have to find it. The plot was they kept attempting to telepathically communicate with us, but I kept wrecking our bodies. <laughs> so to us, it seemed like they were just killing us maliciously. I also think uh, people would have troubles if they greeted people by shooting them in the chest with a 9mm. I think hyper smart Slenderman would stop doing it after the 14th blown up. <laughs> 14 does seem like the magic number for it. Now, if I was a more professional streamer, I might be looking at this uh, destroyed cityscape and making a topical reference to whatever city is being uh, overly stated. That tic-tac means things are nice and warm. Oh, my little backpack. Walking off to school. That's just a joke, of course. I know organized education has fallen by the wayside in this time. A little hero talk for hashtag, uh, jape, if you will. This is just bringing me back to when I was a civil engineering intern in my hometown, and also went around looking for storm drains. Using maps from the 1950s. The game crash. <laughs> Boy, I hope the game didn't crash. That'd be quite silly. Yeah, no, it crashed. Okay. We're gonna do that one more time. Foolish cat. <laughs> Foolish cat. My favorite part of Snowpiercer was when they brought the fish people out. And they attacked people with axes. Erm, um, New England much? <laughs> now the instrument they're playing there is a balalaka, or a kalinka. That's gibberish, by the way. I didn't. I don't know any historical facts on that. I just know those two words. Rivet, Ashvedinya. I don't know about you guys, but I'm right spooked and shivering over here. I keep hearing scary noises around me, but if I don't look at it, they're not real. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna kill you now. I warned you, pal. That's self-defense even in California. Ooh. Didn't evolve for a uh, buckshot, did you? Well, I did. Roman being is being attacked by the most peaceful pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm. I don't like pit bulls very much. I'll be honest. I do love uh, canines of all other types. I even love Frenchies. Frenchies are my favorite. Ooh, very nice. That's a. Uh, I don't know. I drew it for Psychic Bullet Angels. I forget what it's called. PKM, perhaps. Ooh, this game looks absolutely beautiful too. Let me just say that right now. Should I run? It might be too late now. Okay, you should die. 
Yeah, okay. This is a supposed to leave kind of thing. I'm sure of it. Wasted a little ammo. DSHK? DSHK. Hey, buddy. No soliciting. <laughs> That's what I say when I want to feel badass. Some one li- ah! This is a quick time event. I can't do anything. Get out of my face. Okay. Help me, Alicia. Ah. Hello, civilized people. Thank you. Oh, you know me. Life on screen. When did the super mutants show up? <laughs> I wish I could do their voice. Are you awake? I have 15 IQ! The doctor said you'll be fine. Blood bag! Oh wait, that's Mad Max. You have to accept it. There's I wasn't listening to her at all, I'll be honest. Now I am. <laughs> Not allowed to smoke in here. That would be the most uh, inaccurate thing about uh European culture in general. <laughs> Banning smoking. Are you nuts? If this was me in real life, I would slap him the back of the head and go, Thanks, pal. Up and at him, gamers. Oh, there's another bald guy. Radiation didn't do so good for, uh... The, uh... Oh, I forgot what the whole hairline, like, system was called. Uh, Norwood 6. Vegeta 5. So many bald friends! What a beautiful little group of men. This is the Baldy Collective. <laughs> what a great group. It's like a union of something. Say we some kind of... Union? Up in here? Oh, he's like a little ham radio autist. I failed my ham radio license test back in high school. In retrospect, it might have saved me. <laughs> Miller, stop being so dumb, dude. Everyone else, you're the coolest. Keep doing your thing. <laughs> back when I worked at a warehouse. The foreman's going, ah, rah, rah. The worker's like, yeah! It's fucking cool you did Dota to the forklift hero. Thanks, bro. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Wow. Because That's a European for apartments. Now she's trying to tame uh, his testosterone. His natural tendency to quest. Like a knight errant of old. Can I just say, she's got drip. That nice orange on blue, genuinely. I could not have done any better when hot. Um, historical reference? I saw 300. The pitbulls come for revenge. I like the idea that, like, the pitbulls are a uh, collective hive mind. <laughs> and not the uh, absolutely feral, stupid idiot. Creatures they are individually. How about we take the bridge? All at one, but with Pitbull. <laughs> and that's essentially the centaurs. So centaurs were an attempt to make even scarier Pitbulls. This is RTM's autistic fantasy come true. Ham radio and a working train? I also like trains, so that's not like any dig at him. Make that clear. I have too many hours in transport fever too. Highway robbery or railway robbery, guys, am I right? <laughs> Ow! Yeah, what the hell, Hansa? Oh! Oh! No, no, no. That's very rude of you. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry to do that to a German Shepherd. Oh, fuck. And you know what? Fuck, Hansa. Bunch of assholes. No sense of hospitality. This will be going on my formal written complaint. It's always the city folk bullying and pushing around the poor country man. No plot armor. I think I got it. I recovered pretty well from a... Uh... Is that a rifle round? I don't remember what the guy shot me with. That's pretty crazy to survive that to the chest. Or at least to be moving out and about. Like so. 
I mean, not that I've ever been shot, so I have no frame of reference. Those monsters. They're repairing old infrastructure. This is the opposite of Empire of Dust. It's all so energy sum. Hey! <laughs> Let me just push this woman randomly. <laughs> Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. What the heck, dude? What's going on out of here? It's fucking scary. <laughs> they love high fiving in this game. Youch! Th these guys uh, are really bad at recognizing us. <laughs> oh shit! Trade war? The most aesthetic possible battle? This is awesome. This is one of my favorite levels in Lost Planet too. Oh. Okay. That's cool. That was really cool, actually, yeah. By the code of ethics and honor, I will knock you out, not lethally, for that. Wait, yeah. <laughs> That's so lame. That does not feel nearly as cool as uh, just knifing someone. What the heck? I know, I know. Just move, move, get out of here. <laughs> Very realistic. Uh, non combats I like that. I'm not a psychopath. Fear me not. I have rules of engagement. Hey, hero, how's it going? Edgar Allan <laughs> I'm doing pretty good, Edgar Allan Poe. How are you? The actual guy from the 1800s. American guys with a talent. <laughs> Did you just kill them all? Um. Yeah, you know, I don't know why I even bothered being a little non-lethal. Uh, I definitely still should take all the guilt and credit for mass killing. <laughs> How's the coal? <laughs> Posted or uh, shoveling? <laughs> well, Any gem posts? Huh? No, I didn't want to. Alright. Let's move onwards. I'm having a lot of fun. He just put his like face up against the paper. After all those years I love the rain. It's wet and soft and it it's everywhere. Oh, fuck! Ow! Alright, you melon head. What's your problem? Saw that he was resisting arrest. That's a... Good old New England cryptid for you, the melon heads. There was a guy a while back who uh, swore that he saw some in the McDonald's in Danbury, Connecticut. Which is, uh... <laughs> I, I think he just saw normal people at that point, honestly. But 